It's your girl AD with Tolster behind the camera. And this is the weekly wrap. In local news, police have arrested an unnamed suspect involved in the killing of 16-year-old Jamal Rudolph Tuesday evening. The suspect was a juvenile male. In national news, Microsoft founder Bill Gates has become the second person to reach the 1 billion threshold. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is the only other person to reach that milestone. In world news, earlier this week, scientists have connected the Jack the Ripper murder case to Aaron Kopsminski through a DNA sample found on a shawl. This case has been closed for nearly 130 years. Now on to Norbert Espinel with the Hallway Spotlight. What's up Raiders and welcome back to Hallway Spotlight. I'm your host Norbert Espinel and I am here with Matthew Salahi. So, uh, Matthew, did you attend the boys champ boys basketball championship game? Oh, yeah. And how did you like it? Um, I really liked it. I lost my voice over the three games that were in the Coliseum. And, yeah, it was a, it was a good game. Um, do you think the school showed enough support towards the boys basketball team? Um, I think we did uh, really good, but I think we could have done more by, like, uh, getting more people to come, more students to come to support um, the basketball team. Thank you. Hey Raiders, so I'm here with... Christopher. And Christian. And you guys are part of the basketball team, correct? So, um, what does it mean for you guys to win state? Well, I'm just finally happy that we got the job done because like, they haven't won state since... <laughs> so it, it brings a lot of hope and happiness to the school and I'm happy that we were one, the ones to do it. Yeah, it's finally good to finally bring one to Rangeview. It's been way too long. I'm glad that we were the team to do it. I feel like we were the right team to do it. So, um, are you guys going to be playing on the team next week? Thank you guys. Hello Rangeview High School, this is Mr. Carabello coming to you with the best dressed man at Rangeview. Come here Norbert. Norbert, tell me, how you do it? How you pull this off? Well, I have to get up in the morning obviously to do this. Um, this is all express, like quality stuff obviously. I, my jacket's inside, sorry I didn't wear it, but yeah, it's just... Wearing it out, it's my style. Some people call you the Mr. Carabello of the students. Uh, how, how would you take that? Well, obviously, you're very well dressed, so I would take it as a compliment. I like it. The one thing I noticed, though, no zipper. See, here's why we like the zipper. It's getting a little hot. Boom. Oh, it's a little chilly. Zip it up. Norbert, it's been a pleasure. Have a great day. You too. <laughs> Thank you. It is the context in which words are spoken that give them the power or meaning. I love you, dog! 